Welcome to the Villager 3 flagpole assembly video. To assemble your flagpole, you will need a level, a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver, concrete, a shovel, wooden shims, a 19 millimeter wrench or adjustable wrench, caulking. The first step is to create your foundation. Dig a hole 20 inches by 20 inches by 26 inches deep and line the bottom of the hole with some loose stones for drainage. Place the ground sleeve upright in the center of the hole and surround with some pre-mixed concrete. Use a level to ensure the sleeve remains plumb when you are filling the hole with the concrete. Leave the concrete to set. Take care not to get any concrete into or under the ground sleeve. Remove the pole sections from their packaging and join the three sections together using the mold mark to line the sections up. Insert the small screw through the screw cap provided, then into the hole in the upper joint and secure. Fold the whole screw cap over the head of the screw. You can now attach the cleat. First, insert the two rubber anchor nuts into the two pre-drilled holes either side of the bottom joint. Then attach the cleat using the two Phillips screws, screwing them tightly into the two rubber anchor nuts. Next, you need to attach the ball finial to the truck. Leaving the locking nut on the ball finial, screw the finial to the truck and then thread the halyard through the truck and bring the two loose ends together. Place the ball finial and truck on top of the mast and secure the aluminum ring at the tip of the mast. Then tighten the lock nut provided on the ball finial to the top of the truck. Take care that the pulley on the truck is in line with the cleat. Screw the finial into the truck at the top of the pole, and then tighten the ball finial lock nut to the top of the truck. You can now place the flash collar onto the bottom of the pole. Next, you should walk the pole up to the foundation, gently lifting it and sliding it into the ground sleeve. Rotate the pole so that the cleat is turned to the preferred location and secure the pole using the wooden shims. We recommend that you now use a small strip of caulking to seal the space between sleeve and pole. Now drop the flash collar to cover the foundation detail. Your pole is now ready to fly your flag. The nylon snap hooks can be attached to the halyard Once attached, you can now hoist your flag. The halyard may be secured to the cleat in a figure eight fashion. Please remember to take care of your new flag and pole. Flags should not be flown in high winds as this is not in line with proper flag etiquette and can damage your pole or flag. 